Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the Moterm A7 Lux and also the regular one because these actually came in at the same time and so I can do a comparison. I am so excited for this. Um, I haven't opened it so I haven't seen it yet. So if you wanna stay around and watch me unbox, then we'll get started. So I'm gonna open up the regular pocket one first. If you wanna go ahead and skip ahead to the Lux unboxing, then feel free. So this one I actually bought on Amazon. This is a crispy white one. velvety dust bag right here. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice and soft and like squishy it's still flexible mm. it smells like leather <laughs> So this one, you guys have probably seen already, has the, the tab with the zipper. Oh my gosh, it's such a tiny zipper, it's so cute. Pocket here with the brown lining. Pocket here. Comes with a lot of inserts. Four card slots here, pen loop here, pocket here, and the back pocket here, and a tag right here. Apparently, they didn't do this before on their older models, but now they're doing it on their planners on their new planners. Oh, it feels so nice. And this is the white one, so I don't know, it's not super stark white, like the desk back here is white, so you guys can see the color. And here's the fly leaf. So the fly leaf also is white, obviously. It comes with three card slots. Nice. Put this in here. Nice. Okay. So, now to the Lux unboxing. Put this aside. So I got gold rings because this planner is the black one. The box is a little bigger for sure. Nice dust bag as usual. Here it is. So exciting. Ooh, this feels a little squishier. I wonder, yeah. All right, let's open this first and then we'll do a comparison. This is what it's like. Oh, they give us some page lifters here. Nice. So, zipper here, pocket there. There's a pocket right here. 
Hopefully you guys can see this. I know it's kind of dark with the black. Three card slots here. It's also a secretarial pocket here. This is one of the reasons why I really wanted this planner because this one doesn't have the secretarial pocket, but I really like the secretarial pockets. So I asked for, instead of the lined, I asked for the grid and the dot grid. So that's what they gave me. So if you don't specify what kind of inserts you want, then they're just gonna come with the regular lined ones like this. But you can also ask them to do dot grid or grid or I think blank or even craft inserts too. So in the back you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five card slots. Wow. Here's the Moterm card. Another secretarial pocket. And also the back pocket. Also look at these giant rings. 30 millimeter rings. That's so nice. So this, this insert is just probably the regular pocket size, but if you went smaller with the rings, you could probably put Pocket Plus in here. Pen loop. And we'll open the fly leaf. Nice and squishy. Also another pen loop, which is nice. And this one has um, elastic on it. You guys can see that. And it also comes with one, two, three card slots. Nice. Ooh, that's, those are really easy to open and close. Okay, so. What I really wanted to do is a comparison between this one and the regular pocket. All right, so first I wanted to talk about the shipping on this. I ordered it right when it was released, so it was on the 9th from AliExpress. I did do the FedEx shipping, which is like the fastest, and I also signed up for FedEx Delivery Manager. So on there, you can see your package shipped and track it before, sometimes before they even update it on AliExpress. I ordered it on the 9th and then I received it. On FedEx, it said the expected delivery date was on Thursday, which is the 17th, I believe. And But today is the 14th, so it actually came really fast, like five days. It was super fast, totally worth it. Okay. So the biggest difference between this and the regular one is obviously gonna be the size. Here's them side by side. So the Lux is 13 centimeters wide and 14.3 centimeters tall. The regular pocket is 11.5 centimeters wide and 14.3 centimeters tall. So if we just put them together like this, you can see, look at the ring difference. Um, as far as the, the width goes, you can tell that it is a little wider here. Let me put it this way. You see the little bit of centimeters over there. As far as height goes, they are the same height. For the rings, obviously, these are going to be 30 millimeter rings. As you saw earlier. And these are 19 millimeter rings. So you definitely can't fit as much in here. So for the difference in leather, this one is the the lychee and then this one I bought from Amazon and it said um, pebble so pebble cream or pebble white um, I didn't know if there was a difference 
apparently there is a difference between the lychee and the pebble. So I can kind of tell because this one is a lot more flexible. This one kind of feels like padded a little bit. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to squish it. Um, also, if you look on the AliExpress um, website, they have a description of both the lychee and the pebble. So I actually had to go to the, the A7 original regular pocket rings product and then scroll all the way down until they have a leather description. So according to these descriptions, the lychee leather is very soft when you press it and there are no wrinkles. So it's like soft and squishy. Um, the pebble grain leather, the leather is, I guess the, the processing is different. So the leather is softer and feels more comfortable and is exquisite. So this one definitely is flexible, soft. And this one has like, it feels very, more sturdier for sure. So let's see if I could compare these two. So this is like how the white one bends and this one doesn't bend as much, but it's definitely more squishier here. You can see that. All right, so that's the difference between those leathers. So next is the, the snap closure here. So this one, obviously you get two poppers here, so you could really stuff this thing and you can use this outer button to close it. If you really want to go thick. <laughs> and this one just has the one, so you're stuck with this size. As far as the strap goes, definitely the strap on the Lux is way longer. That's definitely to accommodate the, you know, the thicker planner. Um, let's see. You guys obviously can see the difference between the pockets. There's still a zipper on the side here. This the Lux definitely has more pockets here and the secretarial. This one just has the one here. This one has this and all of these. And in the back, this one has, you know, the pocket here and of course the secretarial and all of these pockets. Another difference is the flyleaf. The flyleaf on the regular does have the three card slots. This one also has three card slots, but it also comes with an extra pen loop. So you can definitely stick another pen in there. Let's see the size. I think they're the same size. Yeah, so they're the same size. The Lux just has an extra pen loop for you. So that's nice. They both have the back pocket. So just comparing the size like this opened up, you can see there's the Lux is definitely bigger. So I think I've seen some people put in pocket plus inserts in here. So you can, it's, it could still fit. This one, if you put pocket plus inserts, you'll probably want to go smaller in the rings because they will definitely push out further. But if you just use regular pocket size inserts, you could put a lot of stuff in here. Let me just compare it to other size planners for you guys. So this is the Filofax Safiano pocket. This is the my current planner right now. Put them all like this. Let's see, it is a little, it's, the Lux pocket is just wider for sure. Same size as the other, same height as other pockets, just wider. This is the Safiano personal size. If you wanna see the comparison between these two. Lux Pocket and Safiano Personal. This is the personal compact, that's why it's so thin. 
So there's that difference. He wanted to see it next to an... This is a Jibun Techo in A5. I don't have an A5 planner, but this is the, the notebook, an A5 notebook. So there's that difference. This is the regular size traveler's notebook. Traveler's notebook is actually skinnier. And lastly, this is a passport size notebook. So, I think the passport size looks so cute compared to this. So, here's the height difference. So, I'm really excited to set these up. I thought I was gonna have to wait even longer, but it was a nice surprise one. I came home and I saw these packages waiting for me. So I think that's it for most of the comparison. Um, if you guys have any questions, then let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye.